Thanks for joining us. I'm Bridget Shanahan. And I'm Vince Vetrano. What started out as a missing persons investigation in Missouri has turned into a murder investigation and resulted in a couple of arrests here in Wisconsin. Claudinia Blanchard was found stabbed to death Sunday in her home in Missouri. Her daughter and another man were arrested for that crime yesterday in Big Bend. Investigators say Gypsy Blanchard admits that she told her boyfriend, Nicholas Gojon, to kill her mother. The Greene County, Missouri Sheriff says for years, Gypsy lied about her age and health conditions to gain sympathy from the public. This is a tragic, tragic event surrounded by mystery and public deception. We also know that she can walk without assistance or a wheelchair, um, and she can do that very well. A Missouri prosecutor charged the couple with first degree murder. That pair is being held on more than a million dollars bond. They are expected to be extradited from Wisconsin to Missouri later this month. One of the young Waukesha girls accused of stabbing her friend in an effort to appease a fictional character called Slenderman is expected back in court today. Morgan Geiser's attorney is pleading his case that his client should be tried in juvenile court. The attorney for the other suspect, Anissa Wire, did the same thing a few weeks ago. The judge not expected to make a decision until sometime in August. Scott Walker for president, someone with the same name as our governor, filed paperwork last night to run for office. The Federal Election Commission website has not been updated, so it's still unclear if it is truly Wisconsin's governor in the mix or someone with the same name. Free beer at two Milwaukee County parks today as the traveling Buigatans continue their 16-week stint. A ceremonial keg tapping at both Grant and Doctors Parks kicks off today at 4 p.m. You can get free Sprecher's beer and root beer while it lasts. There's also live music until 7. A drier air moved in during the day on Tuesday and this morning. Temperatures were chilly. How about upper 40s to lower 50s across the region? And a few more clouds moved in throughout the morning as well. Could squeeze out a sprinkle throughout the morning to early afternoon as well. Yesterday, not a cloud in the sky. So today, already a little bit different. And another change is the wind is going to be much lighter. Yeah, it's going to be out of the northeast, but not 10 to 20. It's going to be 5 to 10, which will keep that cooler air very close to the lakefront. Meanwhile, inland areas, uh, I should say the warmer temperatures will be just a couple of miles in. Inland. 54 as of 7 o'clock this morning in Port Washington. Now we've had the clouds because there's rain to the south and rain to the north. As I mentioned, we could get a sprinkle or two, especially closer to the state line, but the shower activity will stay to the south and north of us. Despite that cloud cover, we're warming up rapidly after being in the upper 40s. We're now in the mid to upper 50s around the region. 57 from Tosa down to Franklin, 58 in Greendale, and 56 currently in South Milwaukee. Temperatures already getting close to 60 degrees in the inland areas, already 60 in Green Lake, 54 in Sheboygan, and 55 in Racine. The dew points are very low, and it makes for comfortable humidity levels. It's in the mid to upper 40s around the region, and it will stay that way throughout the day today. A very comfortable day, and the temperatures a few degrees warmer than they were yesterday. Good news on that dew point forecast is that it stays comfy for tomorrow. Very dry air in here for Friday. Now, Saturday, the dew points do jump up. It will be humid out there, uh, maybe even close to being steamy, but then a cold front Saturday night into early Sunday will start to dry the air out once again. So uh, if we do see any high humidity, it'll just be for a day on Saturday. Saturday before more dry air moves in. The Goddard gauge today will give it an 8 at the lakefront because of those cooler temperatures in the 60s, but a 10 easily from Waukesha and further inland, so we'll give it a 9 to average it all out. Low humidity, some sunshine, and a light northeast wind and very comfortable temperatures. Hope you enjoy the day. We have this warm front to the south of us. That's what's kicking off these clouds and the showers this morning. We will see just a sprinkle, as I mentioned. But overnight tonight, as that low pressure system moves off to the east, could see a few isolated showers uh, after midnight up until around, I'd say, 9 or 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. After that, things begin to quiet down and clear out. We'll have a northerly wind and temperatures warming into the 70s. There is a slight chance of a northeast wind developing in the late afternoon. That would cool temperatures down. Our next storm system, though, is off to the west. Warm and humid air moving in here for Saturday. And with that warm front, a good chance of showers and thunderstorms. But it's looking to be later now into the day and into Saturday night. Temperatures tomorrow will be in the 70s and close to 80 degrees. 78 in Milwaukee, 72 in Racine with that northerly wind. But once again in the afternoon, we could see a little bit of a northeasterly wind develop, which would cool those temperatures down. Here's your forecast for for today, a little mixture of sun and clouds, a temperature of 68 degrees, 78 inland, and the continued low humidity. Tonight, warmer than it was this morning, 60 degrees because of clouds and just a few scattered showers developing towards sunrise. Here's your seven day forecast tonight, once again around 60, 78 tomorrow, a little cooler for Friday, 67 degrees, humid and warm on Saturday, a high of 80 with thunderstorms late in the day, some afternoon clearing on Sunday, and comfy temperatures through Tuesday.